So originally I was going to make a part two to this video for the rant video that I had put up yesterday, um, but I have decided that I'm not going to bother responding like outside from the comment that I left to some individual. Uh, and the more I think about it, the more I have to sit back and laugh at fucking, again, this person misjudging me by fucking too sweet. Um, there's only one thing that he's technically correct on, and that's the whole entire aspect of fucking me getting in my feels when it comes to gaming related. Well, I mean, that kind of makes sense. I mean, that's what passionate gamers do, especially if they know their fucking shit about what the fuck they're talking about, which, again, goes hand in hand. As to what, what blurs that line between facts and people not understanding what a factual is and what console war is. There's people that can't comprehend that. And sadly, this individual can't comprehend that. Just saying. Just saying. Like, I wasn't wrong about Halo ever being fucking starting off as a graphical looker. That's not true. Fuck it. The thing that I was saying about the whole entire grunts waving their arms around and shit like that. Fucking how that's canon to the lore. Where am I wrong on that? Show me fucking where I'm wrong on that. Oh, wait, you can't. Because you don't know fuck all about Halo. Which brings me to the fucking point of this topic of this video for my rant. Do your fucking research, my guy. You have the luxury of a beautiful fucking thing on the internet called Google. That allows you to search up any fucking game that you see. Every game. Know everything about it. From the fucking voice cast. To the fucking plot. To the spoilers. To the mechanics. Everything. Why in the fuck? Why? Why in the fuck do gamers not take advantage of this? I don't under fucking stand. We didn't have this luxury back then. We did not have this luxury back then. If you didn't read magazines back then, you didn't know fuck all about gaming. Nothing. Not a fucking thing. Unless you walked into a rental store. Yeah, guess what, people? That was common back then. I know. For you new age motherfuckers that, been, that just recently came around to gaming. Shocking how rental stores were existing back then. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Did that kill off gaming? Oh my god. Cut the alarm, everybody. The industry's over with, man. Goddamn, bro. New discoveries every day. New discoveries every day. Holy fuck. It's the end of the world. End of the world. Renting games should be legal. Should be illegal, man. We shouldn't be out here renting shit. It's against the law. It's killing the industry. It's killing the industry, dog. It's killing the industry, dog. You see what I'm saying? How fucking stupid motherfuckers sound? And yet all it takes is a fucking lousy Google fucking search, man, to search shit up. You see, there's a difference when a console war is going on that's super fucking fake as fuck compared to somebody who knows their shit about gaming, which then gets attracted to morons that they think that I'm saying some console war shit. Fucking hilarious every time. Every fucking time. Every game that I play, ones that you guys fucking love to as well, I pay attention to that shit. Put it this way. <laughs> if you want to see how stupid the console fucking war is, just go on Twitter. When somebody can't tell the difference between what gameplay and platforming is, that's a fucking problem. That's a fucking problem. Motherfuckers, dude. I swear to God, dog. Listen, I don't give a fuck what you think of me. I don't give a fuck if you think that I'm some fucking Xbox fucking fanatic, man. Listen, I've been called every single fucking fanboy, fucking junkie bullshit name under the books, man. When I had my Wii U, I was called a Nintendrone. When I had my PS4, I was called a Pony. Then when I got my Xbox in 2018, I was called a fucking bot. <laughs> you think this would be the first time I would call this shit, motherfucker, bro? Hell no. But I guess me being called everything under the books makes me a better gamer than the vast majority of the cuntbags that are out here representing gaming, man. That's fucking sad. Fucking sad. 
But yet, people are going to sit up here and try to make a big ordeal about me being on somebody else's podcast, which I've been allowed to. You know what I'm saying? But yet, you'd rather come in my comment section and bitch to me about that. Or bitch to me about how Halo is dog shit, even though you won't even play it. Or how Psychonauts 2 is garbage, but yet you won't even play it. This is the problem. Where gamers cannot fucking draw the line on what they themselves see fucking as legit console fucking shit. Or legit fans being fans of something. They always got to think and assume that the only reason why they like that game is because, oh, it's only on that platform. That is the biggest loaded crock of fucking dog shit I've ever fucking heard in my life. And if you think that, do yourself a favor. Get the fuck out of gaming, bro. Because people like you, that's ruining this industry. You think services like Game Pass is ruining it? No. Think about your fucking choices that you're doing and the shit that you're shitting on. At the end of the day, research makes you a better gamer. These motherfuckers don't do that. I'm out.